I had the email this morning saying that my zine pages, like the prints, had been dispatched. Um, <coughs> and <laughs> I um, yeah, really want to get the cover done before they get here, so that's what I'm trying to figure out now. He's just playing around with bubble writing and stuff, just kind of doodling a little bit, trying to just trying to bring together all the little thoughts in my head onto a page so that I can focus. Because <laughs> it'll probably end up being a really simple cover but I need to kind of doodle it out so that I can see it. Some goldfinches just landed outside. Oh my god, oh my god. No don't leave. Where did you go? Did you see them? Oh they're gone. No, look. Yeah. Ah, oh, oh, every time I find you, you leave. I love you. I don't know what is wrong with me, I just slept the whole afternoon, which is really rare. I don't, I'm not a nap person. Normally naps just make me feel ill. And I just, I don't know, I sleep okay at night, so I just don't bother. But yeah, I felt really weird and I thought I should go and lay down. And I did, and then I slept for like two hours. I probably could have slept for longer, but I woke up because I really needed to pee. And then once I was up, I felt better. So I thought I'd um, not go back to bed. So I ate a huge orange, which was really nice. And now I'm going to cut out some felt shapes because this sun moon felt decoration sold. And I need to get better at restocking stuff rather than being like, oh, I've made one, so I shouldn't make any more is if it's not intentionally a one of a kind thing it's okay to make multiples i used to do that and it was good i'm gonna do that again <laughs> oh, i've got into some of the silliest habits over the past few years but i'm getting out of it i'm getting out of it i don't have any of the dark blue for the background that goes on the back of both of them and um <clears throat> I had some um websites bookmarked from a while ago that were selling acrylic felt that was made from recycled plastic and I was like when I'm gonna so when when I need more felt that is what I will do I will get get recycled I think I've cut this wrong already. Yeah, I was like, I will get a recycled felt because it's plastic and it's much better to reuse plastic than to be creating more of it. 
and then I went on all these websites that I had bookmarked and none of them had it in stock anymore. Like it wasn't even an out of stock listing. It just, the pages just didn't exist. And I tried to find some and I couldn't find any. So instead I went on eBay and had a look for people selling off cuts. And I found someone that I think the pack that they were selling included some of the colour I needed. So... Um, yeah, I got someone else's offcuts rather than recycled, but at least that's better. I'm still not buying a new sheet, but I might have to at some point if I can't get the colours I need. If the only thing available is new, new acrylic. But yeah, it's just, I had it in my head that I had those, those suppliers saved and I wasn't going to have to buy buy it new anymore. Although I didn't, I got I got my offcuts. That's good. I like that. I like using things that other people would throw away. <clears throat> Just move that out a little bit. I think I need some new fabric scissors. Although, I mean, God knows how old these are because they weren't even mine new. No, I got them from someone else's like craft room. So, these are someone's Nan's scissors. So, I don't, can you sharpen scissors? You must be able to get scissors sharpened. It'd be quite nice to keep them, rather than having to just get new ones. I think I read somewhere once that you can sharpen scissors by cutting foil, but that seems counterintuitive. I don't want to just mess up the scissors because of some internet tip. My zine pages are here. Let's open them up. I can't remember if I've already explained this, but I got a lighter weight paper than the last zine because I like a thin paper, but I would like it to not have a lot of show through. And I wasn't sure what weight I needed, so last time I um I just kind of guessed. I got a hundred GSM. And that was fine. So I thought this time I would try 90 GSM and see um, yeah, how that goes.
because put tape over the bit that you're supposed to rip. or whatever it is. Ooh. Get on there. Get on there. You can't see it all. Hang on, I'll lift it up. Ah, look at all the paper. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Mmm, print smell. Right. Let's see, let's see. Oh yes, this is a little bit thinner. Hang on. There. This is little bit three. Yeah, I prefer this paper, definitely. It's very, um, it's a very small difference. But I think this feels nicer than this. So that's nice. And then how is it? I might even try, I don't know, there's a little bit. I'm already wondering whether for the next one I'll try 80 grams just to, that's pretty dark there. It's not bad. It's like when you get a little bit of light behind it, you can see through. But when it's down, like it would be, that's pretty good. Oh, yes, yeah, I didn't even realise that that... Can you see this page? See, there's a lot of white on here. It looks absolutely fine. And there's all this dark bit on the other side. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, I'm so excited. Ah, why is it not working properly? Come on, Stapler, be nice to me. Is 
it doing that? Does anyone understand staplers? Can you tell me why it's doing this? <laughs> to be higher up. Maybe I'm not pushing it right. Bam. Why is it doing this? Is it my fault? Am I pushing it down wonky? Can that be a thing? Is it too thick? It's not that many pages. same jumper on but it's actually a few days later <laughs> I have assembled the zines which you would have seen little bits of haha <laughs> little bits that's the name of the zine <laughs> ah okay here they are 30 30 issues of little bits number four here it is in my timeline I still need to photograph this it's very rainy and cloudy so I'm gonna wait for a slightly better um, light day <laughs> so in my timeline they still need to be photographed and listed but in your timeline watching this video they will already be in my shop so please go and have a look I have a um, pay what you like thing for zines on my shop now because Personally, you can do what you want. Personally, I think if you're going to call it a zine, it shouldn't be about making profit. So I like to offer it at just base price to cover the costs of printing it. But I don't have a lot of money. And if you do have a couple of extra pound and you'd like to help me survive, then I put an option on there for people with the means to pay a little bit extra just so that I get a little bit a little bit extra so yeah it's like pay what you want so that yeah and just trying to be more accessible to people so that depending on your income you can get stuff or not and also for me that if you do have more money and are willing to spend it that I can get a bit more money and pay my bills and not go crazy and give myself a stomach ulcer or something because who oh boy this week have I felt weird and I think it's just stress and it's 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 doing something physical and yeah I'm just trying to think about these things and figure out how to make what I'm doing sustainable but it's not really about this because zines aren't about making money so I just have gone off on one there but I went off on one because I also have the pay what you can thing for a couple of other items now I'm trying to like incorporate it into some other stuff but anyway the zine this is what it looks like but 
there's 10 different colours of paper on the covers and you get a random one and then I've decorated them with all different stickers and inside there's a mixture of diary drawings and also writing just little bits out of my brain there's some film stuff in there and at the back oh yeah there's a recipe kind of <laughs> And in the back there's a word search. I can't be the only person that loves a word search. I think that's a good time. A word search. I'm very pleased with it. I, I love scenes. I, the, during the process of making this, I don't know how many times in various videos I have said that I love scenes. But I do, it's a fact. And now I have made a new one. <laughs> 